everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla review. For today's review, we have the Master Grade Shars Zaku 2.0. This kit is widely considered one of the best kits ever made. The Master Grade Zaku 2.0 frame is so perfect that people think there's no like no higher being possible could create something better. These are actual opinions I've heard, so it's safe to say that people like it. So before I begin, here is what I have decided to call mobile suit ludes, which are just pictures of the inner frame. So without much further ado, mobile suit ludes now. <laughs> were amazing. Uh, I can agree on all of those crazy things I heard about how much people love this freaking frame. It is that good. Um, so we're going to take a look at the kit itself now and we're going to start by covering the accessories. There are only three you have to worry about. That would be the standard Zaku Heat Hawk, as you can see there, a standard Zaku machine gun, and a bazooka that I will show right now does, if you are patient enough, have the ability to rest on there and store on the back. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not patient enough. Um, so not showing it. Um, so yeah, I've said so a lot. I'm going to try avoiding that for now. Um, and then finally there's a little gimmicky thing that comes with it. We're going to wheel that out right here. No pun intended. Uh, here it is. This is if it would focus on it. Focus. All right. I'm abandoning that. Uh, it is a lift for pilots to reach the cockpit of their mobile suit. And with that, you can lift your pilot figure. Uh, this is a pilot figure of Char Asnable, as you may have guessed. Uh, it itself did not come with a base. I had to glue one on because I wanted it to be able to stand. So that's a thing. All right, uh, now we're going to talk about leftovers. There's not a lot. The leftovers you get are, uh, because this was basically just a recolor of the standard Zaku 2, you get a cranial dome without an... I don't know what the word I wanted to use. Without a hole to place a command spike, and then you have the other more angled, edgy version of a command spike. Like most Master Grades I've had, they use this action base connector. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do what I can. All right, so looking at the suit itself, you will notice a few things. The first thing I want to show off is that when you turn the head, the mono eye moves with it. Now it's over here, and the eye is actually farther to the left. And if you return it to the center, the mono eye returns to the center. Uh, sort of hard to see in my poor lighting, but you'll have to just take my word for it. In terms of articulation, this kit is great. Perfect articulation in the arms. The legs are amazing, especially for how bulky Zaku's are. And the legs come out pretty far on the side and move back very well, too. Uh, one thing to be careful of, of is uh, these springs. The way they attach into the leg is not the most secure thing I've ever done. Um, if I were more inclined to do so, I would probably go back and put uh, some like clear nail polish or some uh, top coat uh, on the bits to make them stay better. But uh, other than that, they are fine. The torso has a lot of bend to it. The head can look up really nicely. Let's see. The problem is I don't have like the good depth of 
range and I don't have a lot of space. And it's hard to show it off. So the head looks up quite a bit, looks down, and it does not turn all the way around due to the gimmick. Uh, you can if you want to force the neck out of uh, proper alignment, but I don't think you do. Uh, the skirts are pretty movable. You can move them all the way up on there. These go out relatively far and will go back without much issue. The gun itself, if I can pop that down, uh, has a removable drum there. And there is uh, a little hidden thing on the inner frame. Is that uh, where the nuclear reactor is in the frame, uh, you actually have a nuclear reactor like sticker or dry transfer, which is not the one I went with. I went with the sticker uh, that you can put on it. So there is that. Uh, the feet have flexible toes with functioning pistons, as you might have seen on the pictures there. Let's try and show that off again so that it's easier to see. And then they move side to side extremely well. You will get this thing to stand flat-footed without much effort. Now we have the shoulder shield. Uh, shoulder shields are sometimes cumbersome on Zaku kits. This one is perfectly fine. It comes away rel relatively, extremely far from the shoulder itself, and it has all sorts of good ability to move there, and you can stick it back. Obviously, the tri-transfers are nice looking if you apply them properly. I know people swear by water slides, but I do not. I say uh, dry transfers and even sticker decals have their place if you know how to pose them. Okay, now on to my favorite thing about this. Uh, these hands are almost perfect. Well, I am absolutely a big proponent of standard holding hands, these hands hold things extremely well. And the reason being is while the thumb is not articulated, the fingers are individually articulated. And this lets you have all sorts of range of motion so you can grip things extremely well. As such, you have no extra hands of any kind. And then, if you are so needing to, the wrist goes up and down. And I really wish I could get my phone to focus. No? Alright, well, that's a problem. And, you know, we can... Uh, we can, you know, some, some devil ears for, uh, you know, praising the rock gods. You can point, you can flip someone off if you're immature enough to want that, I guess. Um, and there are even more immature things you can do with it, but that's not appropriate. So, uh, everything said, I am extremely happy with this kit. Um, it is perfect, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It is absolutely, astoundingly perfect. It is super anime accurate, the articulation is good, the gimmicks are amazing, it is a perfect kit. If you are looking for a Master Grade to get and you have about $40, this is the one you get. This is absolutely grand. Anything with a 2.0 Zaku frame is godlike. I, I cannot stress it enough. They are actually that good that I will just sit there and sing their praises. Um, obviously, I can throw up a few more action poses on screen now. Um, show that you can do all sorts of things with this. Uh, I think I didn't mention the arms go out really far and then they have uh, a bit that if you do it right and you don't want to break things uh, pops out of the shoulder there. Ugh. Showing things off is hard right there that you can see so it has even more range of motion in that direction and going out and all around. This kit is just extra like it's good. Get it. I I don't have much else to say. Get the kit. You won't You won't be sorry. You will, will enjoy yourself building it and playing with it. All, everything about it is that good. So then, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Dislike it if you didn't. Leave a comment what you think about the Zaku, the kit, or the mobile suit within the series. 
because I am interested in both. Uh, subscribe and notification bell because subscribing means nothing on YouTube anymore. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. I have a lot of editing to do tonight, and it's 11, 12, and I should have been asleep already because kids. So, yeah. Bye. Bye.